we've been on a tear with just getting great news from the Baltimore Ravens. And like I told y'all before, some of my favorite things are giving great news, receiving great news, and also the Baltimore Ravens. So haven't been able to mix that all up together recently a lot. It's been a beautiful thing. But unfortunately, as much great news as we've been talking about with the Baltimore Ravens, especially with so many people being at OTAs, we got some bad news that we got to talk about. Keaton Mitchell, um, who came on strong last season, popped up out of nowhere, got signed as an undrafted rookie free agent and made it through a lot to even get an opportunity. Uh, and when he got that opportunity, he certainly made the most of it. Keaton Mitchell was just a straight baller. He was a big part of what the Baltimore Ravens were doing last year. It's like this dude averaged like 50 yards per carry. He was amazing. Keaton Mitchell was like that. Um, but Keaton Mitchell, toward the end of, the, of last season, he ended up getting hurt. He had an injury. He had an, uh, an ACL injury. And I remember the game when he went down, he started holding his leg. I was hoping, like, all right, hopefully it's just something minor. Hopefully, hey, even as worst-case scenario, he's out for the rest of this game. Hopefully he'll be back next week. But it obviously didn't happen. And he was out for the remainder of the season. Now, when players get hurt toward the end of the season, I mean, I was going to say it's worse, but it's bad either way because a player gets hurt at the beginning of the season, they could miss the entire season. But if a player gets hurt at the end of a season, they could not only miss the rest of that season, but they could miss a, a chunk of the following season too. And that's exactly, unfortunately, what it sounds like is going to happen with Keaton Mitchell. Let's read the report from Adam Schefter uh, with John Harbaugh's quote. He said, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh said, Keaton Mitchell. Is on schedule in his recovery from the torn ACL he suffered in week 15. So, hey, that's a great. We love that. He's on schedule. Amazing. Because we don't want him to be behind schedule. We don't want, don't want him to be late. We want him to be right on time. So that's a beautiful thing. But, but he will not be back for training camp. And he is not expected back until sometime during the season. It's not like right around the corner. So that sucks. That sucks for Keaton Mitchell. Um, it sucks for his career. It sucks for his development. Uh, it, it sucks for him just being a part of the Baltimore Ravens for a lot of different reasons. One of the biggest reasons, the, the, the takeaways from it is because there's nobody like him on this team. There was nobody like Keith Mitchell on this team. The man is blazing fast the, and, and at, at the running back position. Now, Justice Hill got some speed now. Justice Hill got some speed, but Keith Mitchell, his speed is on a whole nother level. And just to have that, like you think about how perfectly he compliments Derrick Henry. He, he, he compliments Derrick Henry perfectly. Like Derrick Henry got some speed. Now he got some underrated speed, but he ain't no like burner. Once he get going, he get going. But to have somebody, a big bruising back like Derrick Henry, who got some finesse to his game now, don't sleep on it. But to have somebody like Derrick Henry and then to have somebody come in like a Keaton Mitch, oh my goodness, it's just such, such a perfect pairing. But now we have to wait for that. We have to wait. So this puts more on Derrick Henry. It puts more on Justice Hill. It puts more on Rasheen Ali and, and any other possible running backs that the Baltimore Ravens could have on the roster, may look to add on the roster. We'll see. It's to be determined. I actually wouldn't mind if they brought Dalvin Cook back. But with Keaton Mitchell being out, it's, it's, it's a big blow. It's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's not a shock or anything like that. But because... As y'all know, we've talked about it a lot. I know a lot of other people have talked about it, too. With Keaton Mitchell, we didn't expect him to be back at the start of the season. We had hoped that he was. We were hoping that, hey, maybe by some surprise, some miracle, something like that, Keaton Mitchell be ready to go early on in the season. But it was not a realistic expectation. Reason being because he got hurt at the end of the year. And the, the timing of it, I mean, any injuries, timing is terrible. But the timing of his injury is especially bad because it not only impacted last year, but it impacts this year, too. So, Keaton Mitchell, him being out, again, no shocker because I think that was the expectation. Um, but you think about how his career started. I remember with Keaton Mitchell, undrafted rookie free agent. And when the Baltimore Ravens first signed him, there were so many people telling me, they say, man, this dude, I don't know how he didn't get drafted. That was one. And then they were like, look, there's no way that he's not making the roster. There's no way that he will not be on the Baltimore Ravens roster this year. And I remember thinking like, all right, hey, we'll see. We'll see. 
But because I, I done seen Ravens fans fall, I, and I've been one of them too, but I done seen Ravens fans fall in love with undrafted rookie free agents before time and time again where you're like, hey, I see that potential in that player. Oh, yeah, I could just you just envision what they would do for the Baltimore Ravens. You're like, oh, I love it. Let's go. And then it doesn't end up working out. But I, so I heard everything about Keith Mitchell, and then he played in preseason. And then I was on the bandwagon too. I'm like, oh yeah, no, ain't no way that you letting this dude go. Don't let him hit waivers. Don't let him nothing. He needs to be a Baltimore Raven. But then I thought, I said, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Keaton Mitchell, we already got J.K. Dobbins. He's a lock to make the roster. We got a Gus Edwards. He's a lock to make the roster. We got a Justice Hill. He's likely a lock to make the roster, especially because he's a big special teams guy. So... Where is there room for Keith Mitchell? Would they carry four running backs? They possibly could, but where's there really room for him? So what happened? Ravens, they, he made the roster. And then they put him on injury reserve, so he had to miss at least three games. But they showed how much they valued him because they gave him a roster spot, even though he was hurt. A lot of times we've seen in the past with the Baltimore Ravens, if, if an undrafted rookie free agent, if he's hurt, yeah, he's done. Injury reserve, his season's over. But they saw the value that Keith Mitchell brought to the team. They saw the potential that he brought to the team. That's why they kept him on the roster, and they proved to be definitely correct on that one. But anyway, first game of the season, J.K. Dobbins got hurt. He's done for the year. Then there were, that just left Gus Edwards and Justice Hill. Uh, Justice Hill, he dealt with some injuries here and there. But Gus Edwards continued to be a part of everything the Baltimore Ravens did. But when Keith Mitchell was healthy, they said, oh, Keith Mitchell, you up. You're up. It's, it's, it's your time to shine. And he did just that. Keaton Mitchell was amazing for the Baltimore Ravens. And we love everything that this dude did. It's like he reminded me of like a, a much faster, much more electric, explosive version of Alex Collins. Minus the fumbling, too. He, he ain't a fumbler. And, and the reason I say that, because y'all remember when the Baltimore Ravens first got Alex Collins. It's like uh, he was on the Seahawks, I think their practice squad or something like that. But Alex Collins like came out of nowhere. There were some people that knew about him or whatnot, but he came out of nowhere. But with Alex Collins on the Baltimore Ravens, it's like every time he touched the ball, you knew it could go the distance. You knew he could go for a big play. That's exactly what Alex Collins brought to the Baltimore Ravens. With Keith Mitchell, we see the same thing, but just faster. The plays are that much more explosive. And he, he just he was an amazing player. He was doing everything, too. This man was taking the runs. He would go the distance. He would break off big runs like just about every time. Uh, but then they use him in a passing game too. I remember there was a screenplay. I forgot what game it was. I forgot what team it was against. But there was a screenplay that he almost took to the house too. This dude was making people miss. And with Keith Mitchell, he got this underrated strength about him too. So I'm like, man, we, we got one. We really got one. And then for Keith Mitchell – where he really got his biggest opportunity, in my opinion. It came at uh, midseason, at trade deadline. Baltimore Ravens were all in on Derrick Henry. But they were really trying to trade for Derrick Henry. And what happened? They didn't trade for Derrick Henry. Now, had they got Derrick Henry last year, then I don't think Keith Mitchell gets nearly as much of an opportunity as he got last season. But it worked out because they didn't get Derrick Henry, and then Keith Mitchell continued to go off, and he was allowed to go off because he was allowed to still get opportunity and he did his thing, and he made the most of it, and we're glad that he did. This injury sucks for Keaton Mitchell, but hopefully, hopefully uh, he will be back this season. We know how Harbaugh is when he talk about injuries. You know, we know how that goes, but with Keaton Mitchell, um, if he can come back toward the end of the year, then that would be nice. Now, how could they incorporate him into the offense? Well, he knows the offense, so that's a good thing. So he got a leg up, not necessarily a leg up on the competition when it comes to that because he'll be out, but he, him already being familiar with the offense, that helps a lot. So when he is fully healthy, it could possibly just be one of those plug-and-play type of things. And, and they wouldn't just throw everything on him. They got Derrick Henry. They got other running backs and whatnot, so they could ease him in. But him being familiar with the offense, that does make life easier for him, makes it easier for the Baltimore Ravens when he gets back, just makes life easier and better for everybody because it adds yet another weapon for when he's ready. So hopefully, again, everything goes silky smooth Everything is crystal clear as far as his recovery, his timetable, and everything like that. And there are no setbacks because y'all, we love Keith Mitchell. If y'all can tell already, we love Keaton Mitchell because that man, he just brought so much joy to us as Ravens fans. He brought so much excitement to us as Ravens fans, and that man is like that. So shout out to him, Keith Mitchell. Speedy recovery, my friend. Hope everything is going well with you. And, and, and you know what? I hope everything goes even better than expected. Team, keep it clean. 
Again, sorry we had to deliver this bad news, but y'all know how it goes. We got to deliver the good with the bad and the happy with the sad and vice versa and all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, leave a like on the video because it helps out a ton. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out, baby.